Hey guys, Draco here. I just wanted to go over the new patch that just came out. So if you can see here, uh, the overview. This update includes balance changes to missions, stratagems, weapons, enemies, and hell divers. General fixes and stability improvements. So for gameplay, planetary hazard additions, blizzards, and sandstorms. And then the maximum level cap was raised to 150 guys. And all experience that you got when you were level 50 should be brought over so when i logged in i was level 70 for instance retrieve uh, bouncing missions retrieve essential personnel move the enemy spawn points further away from the objective to give players a fairer chance of defending the location and then there are fewer civilians required to complete the mission on higher difficulties and then for destroy command bunkers now has the objective locations has more objective locations the mission was too easy or compared to other missions it can now appear in operations from difficulty 5 so you can find destroy command bunkers from 5 and up have the negative effect of operational modifiers that increase stratagem cooldowns or call in times so they reduce the negative effects of like some of the missions you went to do it would take longer for your stratagems to come back they reduced that by half and another one they didn't tell you is um in the ones where you have to exterminate enemies it no longer says zero out of 500 or one out of 500 it'll say one percent two percent all the way up to 100 to show how many you've killed so far seemingly there's less enemies now but I'm not sure, I gotta look into it some more. So there's some things that aren't included in the patch notes that got changed. So we're gonna go into weapons now. Primary, secondary, and support weapons. The arc thrower fixed charging inconsistencies. Consistencies. It will now always take one second to charge a shot. That's great. The arc thrower reduced distance from 50 meters to 35 meters, which is basically a little nerf. But I kind of like that because now it's a lot harder to like kill people that are stood behind the thing you're shooting. And then arc thrower increases the stagger force. So this is going to be knocking things back easier. Guard dog, they don't say which one, not, now restores fully a full ammo from supply boxes. The anti-material rifle damage was increased by 30%. Breaker incendiary, damage per bullet increased from 15 per bullet to 20 per bullet. So this is a big, this is a big buff on its own. And they also did this, fire damage per tick increased by 50% from all sources. So this is laser beams, explosives, breaker incendiary, flamethrowers. Uh, I found myself dying more to friendly like laser beams because of the fire damage so you're, you're going to want to watch out for that if you have to put yourself out just just dive and then like take a steam the liberator penetrator is now fully automatic and you can turn it on fully auto mode the dominator increased damage from 200 to 300 and increased the stagger so that's pretty that's a really nice change i haven't tested this yet and I'm going to be doing a video testing a lot of this stuff eventually. So the Diligence Counter Sniper increased armor penetration from light to medium. So that's huge. The Slugger has reduced stagger now. Reduced the damage from 280 to 250. Reduced the demolition force, which is, I guess, the ability to blow things up. Or break things or destroy things. Slugger, a uh, fixed armor penetration tag. Now it actually shows that it has medium penetration. It showed light before. And then it says the Slugger, the Liberator, Concussive, and the Senator. Fixed incorrect armor penetration tags in the menu. So they should show their correct light, medium, whatever penetration. Recoilless rifles increase the number of rockets you restore from supply boxes from two to three. That's a great quality of life. Spear. Increase the number of missiles you restore from supply boxes from 1 to 2. Great quality of life. Heavy machine gun. I didn't even know it had different rates of fire. I guess I, was, I didn't even test that, but 
the highest rate mode reduced from 1200 RPM to a more moderate 950. So I, I was thinking that the heavy machine gun was didn't have enough ammo, but it looks like they reduced the rate of fire instead. Same effect, just different way. So your stratagem, uh, Patriot Exo Rockets or Exo Suit rockets will now be penetrate armor only on direct hit. So you're gonna have to hit armored targets directly now with your rockets. And enemies balancing adjustments have been made to Charger's normal melee attack now does less damage against Exo Suits, so that's great. One of my favorite changes here. Bile Spewer and Nursing Spewer do less damage with their puke. Thank God. Bile Titan can no longer be stunned. I'm guessing it's either stun grenades or EMS mortars. I wasn't aware of that, but... Shriekers no longer create bug breaches. Wasn't aware of that one either, but thank God. Shriekers hitting you while they are dead now does significantly less damage. I haven't tested this, but I hope it doesn't instantly kill you anymore. Uh, okay, so Helldiver balancing adjustments. So this is to our character and our armor. This is worded a little weird, so I'm gonna go through it slow. Heavy and medium armor protects better. And now take less, you take about 10% less damage than before while wearing heavy. And about 5% less when wearing medium armor. So heavy is 10% tougher. Medium is about 5% tougher. Fortified commando armors and light armor is unchanged. Fixes. Fix an issue where the save settings for PS5 would reset when the game is rebooted, causing things such as loadout and hint settings to reset. Enemies now properly target exosuits. Previously, many enemies effectively ignored exosuits if a Helldiver on foot was available for them to target. Uh, fixed exosuits being able to fire their weapons when opening the, the mini-map. Thank God. The Helldiver and exosuit both have had a bug that made them sometimes take explosive damage multiple times making things like automaton rockets be too deadly. This is now fixed. So automatons blowing blowing you up over and over and over it wasn't actually intended. So uh, hopefully it's a lot more balanced now. Automaton enemy constellations that prefer to spawn more of certain devastator types did not work and na are now functioning as they should. This means that sometimes when playing against the automatons, you will face more devastators instead of other enemy types. Hmm. I'm not sure what enemy constellations is. I'm going to look into that. We have improved the system that prevents hell pod steering close to large or important objects. So this is great. We have solved the issue where the effective area around the objects was a lot larger than intended. We have reduced the number of objects that prevent hell pod steering. Note, this system is intended to prevent soft locks where players can drop on important interaction points or drop into unintended places. We will continue to monitor the state of the system after the update to see if we see if additional tweaks are necessary. Fixed causes where the ground under some assets would be bombed, causing them to float. The ballistic shield changes, so the collision mesh has been slightly increased in size for more forgiveness. Should they change or change shield poses so that less of the hell diver is exposed? Address the bug where parts of the hell diver would become vulnerable while using the shield in the first person. And now for the known issues. So these were issues that were either introduced by this patch or are being worked on or are from the previous version and have not yet been fixed. So game crashes when picking up a snowball or throwing a grenade. Various issues involving friend invites and crossplay. Cross-platform friend invites might not show up in the friend request tab. Players cannot unfriend other players befriended via the friend code. Players cannot unblock players that were not in the friends list beforehand. Players cannot befriend players with Steam names shorter than three characters. 
Explosive weapon stats include only direct hit damage, but not explosive damage. Explosives do not break your limbs, except for when you fly into a rock. Planet liberation reaches 100% at the end of every defend mission. Granting in deep water with a vitality booster equipped puts Helldiver in a broken puts Helldiver in a broken state. So if you have the vitality booster passive equipped and you drown in deep water, you'll stay in deep water and you, someone has to come shoot you to get you out. Stratagem beam might attach itself to an enemy, but it will deploy to its original location. Oh, so that's actually a bug. I didn't realize that. Some player customizations like title or body type may reset after restarting the game. And as of right now, there's been a lot of people getting stuck on the extraction screens, getting stuck logging into the game, having troubles crashing mid mission. A lot of these things are caused by server hangups because last night there was a server capacity issue made a video to help people deal with that so it helps some people some people it doesn't help but i'm hoping that they're gonna do some more fixes real soon in the future here but let me know in the comments below if you've seen anything that wasn't in this patch notes list if you're affected by the ex uh, extraction bug where you can't get out of the mission with it crashing uh, you can't log into the game at all. Any of these things that might be known issues that people don't know about, let me know in the comments and let other people know. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like these videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and share. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys next time.